So, in general, there is not a dramatic increase in breast cancer in, in younger women now compared to 20 or 30 years ago. Recently, there has been some suggestion that, that the risk in younger women has gone up a little bit. I think we are much more aware of breast cancer in younger women than we ever were. And of course, breast cancer is a disease that affects women of all ages. It is certainly more common in women who are in their 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s. It becomes more common probably at about the age of 45, but somewhere in the range of 20 to 25% of all breast cancer arises in premenopausal women. And some of those women um, are under the age, let's say, of, of 40. You know, it's not the biggest group of patients with breast cancer, but because breast cancer is so common, breast cancer is in fact the most common malignant diagnosis in young women. But you know, you do, you do know that, for example, in China, breast cancer has become more common. And a lot of people think that's because of changes in diet and, you know, changes in the, in the environment in general. Well, I think that there is something about a Western lifestyle. Um, and, you know, increasingly there are more women in China who are living a more Westernized life. Um, and I think that that seems to be associated with a higher rate of cancer. So, just to be clear, clinical trials are um, ways in which we test new drugs for many health conditions, but in particular for cancer. There are different phases of clinical trials. In phase one clinical trials, we're giving those drugs for the first time in, in human beings. And we're really mostly trying to figure out if it's safe and to some degree if it's effective. In phase two clinical trials, it's all about how effective the treatment is. And finally, in the most advanced kind of clinical trial or phase three trials, which are typically randomized trials, we compare the standard versus something that many of us believe would be better than the standard. There are no advances without clinical trials. You don't get a new drug that goes from a laboratory into a person's arm without a big clinical trial step because these new drugs have to be evaluated in clinical trials. So they're very, very important. A very small percentage of, of men and women in the United States with cancer participate in clinical trials. We, we really need to increase that rate. And I do know that Asian women are somewhat less likely to participate in clinical trials. And my best guess is that it's probably because they may more often go to doctors who are less involved in clinical trials and that people may not ask them. So I think that Chinese women, um, when they have cancer, when they have breast cancer, should try to go to a center where there are clinical trials available and they should ask about them. I think the other aspect of this that's worth mentioning is that sometimes in clinical trials we find out that there are side effects in different ethnic and racial groups that we didn't see in others. And, you know, there has been some concern that not just Chinese women, but Asian women in general women may have the somewhat more severe side effects sometimes than others. And so that's why we really need those women to participate in, in, in trials so we can understand them before the, the treatments become widely used.